I want to bring in Morgan Ortegas on this developing story here. Morgan, is the war spreading? It's now in the Red Sea, for heaven's sake. Well, I would argue that it's been spreading for three years, not just since October 7th. Um, if you look at the backdrop of what happened, listen, just over the weekend, uh, we saw multiple ships being targeted. Now, these are flagged from many different countries around the world. The United States Navy responded to a distress signal, and that's whenever they intercepted an anti-ship ballistic missile. So this is something that we, we all need to not gloss over and, and really take to heart. The Houthis, which are a terrorist group operating out of Yemen. Similar to Hamas, they are funded, trained, equipped uh, by the Iranian regime. The, the Iranian regime provides them those ballistic missiles. This is not a drone. This is not an unsophisticated weapon. It's a ballistic missile uh, that this U.S. Navy ship had to intercept. Uh, and it's only, it's only getting worse. It's only getting more provocative. And so you not only see uh, Iranian proxies going after uh, hardened uh, U.S. military facilities where troops are based, they are now actively going after U.S. Navy ships. And, of course, we know uh, that their cyber groups are hacking into U.S. utilities as well. This is an all-out offense on the United States of America by the Islamic Republic of Iran and its proxies with the goal, Stu, of trying to get us to leave the region and, not, and to not have influence there. Uh, John Kirby is defending our approach to Israel. Watch this, please. Roll tape. We are having these discussions with our Israeli counterparts every day about being careful, precise, and deliberate in their targeting and trying to minimize civilian casualties to the maximum extent possible. We don't want to see a single more innocent life taken here. But, and so we're going to continue to work with, with Israel about this. But the approach that we've been taking has delivered some results, including more than 100 hostages getting out. Okay, minimizing casualties. Now, the Wall Street Journal details these 2,000-pound bunker buster bombs which we are giving to Israel for use in Gaza against the tunnels. So we're pushing an extended truce but providing these bombs. Is that a contradiction? Uh, sure, yeah, it is a contradiction. First, if I were Kirby, I, I, and I like Kirby, we are friends, but I don't know that I would lead with bragging about getting 100 hostages out whenever you didn't get the Americans out, right? You have, I think, a total of three Americans that they got out, and during that week of uh, hostage exchanges, we did, thank God, get one uh, little girl, one American out, but there's still at least seven or eight Americans that remain in captivity from a terrorist group. We're in day 58 of this war. We know that Americans are still still left behind in Afghanistan. And now we really have to put pressure on this administration not to leave Americans behind in Gaza as well. In terms of the military hardware that we're providing, listen, there's a lot of people in Washington uh, that think that they know how to conduct this war for Israel better than the generals on the ground. Um, and, and that's just not possible. Uh, Israel is, of course, uh, should be deliberate and targeted uh, in their approach to taking out Hamas, which they are trying to do. As you We've had many military experts come on this show. You know how incredibly difficult it is uh, to go after Hamas because they are using their own people as human shields. We must always remember that the loss of any innocent Palestinian life is due to Hamas because they want their own people to die. They want the death toll to go up. They want to blame Israel. They want to blame uh, the West. Their goal is not uh, to have a new Palestinian authority, a new Palestinian governance structure that will be over the West Bank and Gaza. If you think that's what their goal is, it's laughable. They don't want a two-state solution. The administration thinks Hamas did this to get a two-state solution. Hamas did this because they want to kill Jews and they want to wipe Israel off the face of the map from the river to the sea. Can I just express an opinion and see if you agree with it? I think the Israelis sure. are not... <laughs> you may always disagree with me. I think the Israelis are going <laughs> to do the job. They're going to crush Hamas no matter what Joe Biden says, no matter what the Arab street says. They're engaged in this battle and they're going to see it through. Nothing's going to stop them. What do you say? I totally agree with you, and we did the same whenever it came to the threat from al-Qaeda yep. and then later from the threat of ISIS. We destroyed in the Trump administration the physical caliphate of ISIS. Uh, we went after al-Qaeda for 20 years. We have done everything we could to protect the American people, and the Israeli government should do everything they can do to protect Israelis. I'm with you. Morgan Ortegas, great stuff. Thank you very much for joining us, as always, Morgan, and I know we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.